Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. In today's episode I would like to cover first of all a couple of, tip, couple of tips and secondly then we go and put up the asteroid miner. So the first tip I've got was from Wilfen. I hope that's pronounced correctly and he says I can use tin and copper to make cupernicum very cheaply. Not sorry, copper, carbon. Now two carbons are one magnesium. We've got absolutely stacks and stacks of magnesium. So let's go and test that out first of all. So I've actually got some in my inventory already prepared. And I'd actually quite like to finish that fission reactor off as well. So we put two tins down here like that. This gives us radioactive ferrium. Well, that's not so bad. Ha, oops, that didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped. Never mind. We can take those out of there. And put in these with some magnesium. I keep clicking these across, actually. Move the vest. So we're, here we're getting some cupernicum. That's fine. So let's get rid of these ones out of here like that and get these pushed through. So here I've got a load of cupernicum. Unfortunately, I've got a slight problem now. Of course, I've got to make a, I've got to use these uh, <laughs> because they're all. I can't put them in the bloody chest because they're all got slightly different times. Oh, must have been a zombie here. Actually, they do spawn occasionally in here too. too. So let's just put some. Let's see what we can get rid of in here, cupernicum. So we need some. And I don't need that. And I don't need that. That. And brillium and aluminium, metal sulfate and chromium. Let's put these away in this chest over here. I think it's a good place to put these. Oops, that was cupernicum, wasn't it? What we'll do is we'll put as much of this in here as we can. Got any stacks of this stuff? Cupernicum seven three three and one more three will do, I think. Can't sort that like that. Right, that'll fill up that. So we just got to get some helium and some uh, carbon, which is pretty easy straightforward stuff so we need to get some helium hydrogen I think that's 11 I've got some junk on me let's get rid of the junk in fact I could put these into the machine to start with and get some helium while we're doing the else. get rid of this junk so I'll be making helium I didn't count exactly how many I've got, but I'm going to fill myself up with all the rest of the hydrogen I can. And two carbon, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, ten. So some helium should be ready now. We need four stacks of that. Great. So we shall then come along here and put this into here. I think that's what we need. What are we short of? Oh, we need 16. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four. Not quite enough. Let's take the seven out of here. Put those into there. That should give me another start. What have we got left on there now? We should have some in there, actually. What have we got here? Three, six, nine, eleven. So there should be five somewhere. Where have they gone to? Well, that's strange. Anyway, I've got three more stacks of that. One stack of carbon. Ah, here we've got the five. That's why, I've, that's why it's not come through. Thank you. 
cadmium. What have I done wrong here? Ah, I think I messed up a bit there. That's never mind. What we got? Some sixes, I guess. Do we make some oxygen? Well, I think I messed up that bit. That'll make another stack of helium. One, two, three, two and a half stacks of that. I'm going to make some more. Problems they go out straight away, and that's why it gets these different stacks. So I've got four stacks of nearly not quite yet four stacks of helium. So I basically need to get some of this. So I need five magnesium and some more hydrogen. got enough but they were I'll put this stuff into here that we need that we can do so we've got oh stacks of hydrogen here sorry one two well I'm messing around a bit as usual that's better better get on with this because it's got a reasonably short lifespan about an, an hour which is actually plenty of time but you never know I want five of those don't I one more What I've done wrong really here is to actually activate this. If I actually turned it off here, shift left click this one, I can just turn this off. Activate signal. So then we can put it in here. So we can put the magnesium and the ferrum in, and then we get the five cupinicum here that we actually needed from before. Uh, we still need some more helium, I think. Yep. So that's those two. What else have we got in here? Helium, we need some more. Not four, four stacks of that good. Three stacks of hydrogen. And the rest of this cupinicum here. So now we've got another other nether star. Right click that again, everything's out of there. We can put the three stacks of hydrogen in there. Put the rest of this, and we can actually finish these off. We'll just do that as well. I don't want to be carrying it around with me basically. So let's split that into two. Unfortunately I can't split these two into two, but never mind. Not exactly anyway. We've got another oops. If I have to do it on the front here it doesn't work like that. No, I haven't got any more hydrogen in there. Let's take this out of there like that. And that'll do for now. Phew. I think it was about three short. Oh, that's probably what happened there before. Anyway, we've got two more nether stars. So let's put those away into the system because I don't need. I couldn't do it with that. Let's, kinda, let's go upstairs and do it because I want to go upstairs anyway. Let's put those in there. We've got nether stars in here. No, I've not put them in there. Maybe I'm keeping them elsewhere. I'll look and put them in here. So I'll put them back in there anyway. I saw they're somewhere out of the way. Right, now the next tip. The next tip was from Mr. Jeridan. And what he says is I can add silk touch to the lasers and they will be multi then they'll be multitasking. So I think I've got some more silk touch books in here. I've got actually I've got three, four. So we could put these onto here like that. And I've been using the gold pickaxe to do the enchants because the gold pickaxe um, is supposed to be better for taking a chance or accepting enchants. I believe that's the case. I'm not 100% sure whether that's the case or not, but we'll just take this off like this. So I'll remove these two like that. And we'll go and enchant those with some tilt touch. 
I guess it's going to need quite a lot. I've actually got quite a lot of XP. Let's take 70 layers. That should be enough. So this is a silk touch book. And oh, whoops. I didn't bring the um, other pickaxe with me. Which in fact it doesn't matter that much. Because what we can do is we can put it onto the enchant mover here. And put silk touch onto that like that. And then the laser in here. And it does accept it. Because it's worked. I've now got silk touch one on that one. Let's go put that back and go and get, well that's actually going back, let's put this on here. Let's put this back again. And go and enchant the next pickaxe. Uh, I've done it the wrong way around of course. Now this is supposed to, it's just supposed to enable multitasking of the of the um, uh, this one, and the fortune is supposed to increase the range of the lasers. Now I don't think I need to increase the range at the moment because I've got everything in quite a close area. So let's have a look. How can we do this? I think I've got enough stuff in here to make two times 10 uh, sorry two steel holes like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in I won't do it in there or there okay this one's set up so we'll do one of these in here like that put half of each of one of these into this I think that's all we need on here like this and I'm going to leave the last one until a bit later on so we can test the multitasking of it part of it and we've got another space on this one so let's just do the this one into here like this I oh, can't see can we because we've got other things assembling machines let's take this one at the end here Thirty-two and one plate. I must have got the recipe. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Uh, steel holes. Let's have a look for steel holes. I'm missing the carbon things, aren't I? This one. Actually, that's taking all of the others in there, which is actually not really what I want to do. So we can put half of those in there. That should then enable the steel hole. Great, it is. So we'll click this one on. So that should then, we should get the lasers pointing to this one. And then this one here, we just need to put the other half of this. Plus, oh, I need half of those, don't I, from in here. This one. The machine parts. Put that in there like that. And that's also enabled, so with a bit of luck we should see these getting one of these getting moved across. But to be honest with you, I don't know whether that's gonna work. Maybe I have to do it in a different order. Let's just take that out of there like that. Yeah, it's moved across there, push it in there, put over there. Maybe I need more lasers with silk touch on it. I, is it's one of these things which actually is quite difficult to test maybe i have to set up multiple um uh, recipes that all come in at the same time but that was the idea anyway so tilt that should multi multitask and fortune should increase the range so there we are okay now let's go i think i've got everything i need just having a quick look i've got my bag i've got my warps and i've got some return scrolls here and in this chest I've got the bits and pieces we need, everything's soul bound, so let's just double check that I've got enough oxygen, because I've been around a bit. Let's take one of these out of here. I'm sure I haven't used up two, no, good. So you've actually soul bound all of these oxygen tanks, just to be on the safe side. And I've got plenty, I've been throwing them away actually, some of this enchants. So let's go to the asteroids. Wherever they are, asteroids. With a bit of... 
There are a few mobs around, but not too many. Okay, so we need the asteroid miner and that. We'll need a, a chest and we're also going to need a sterling generator. And the hooks in here, let's put that up there like that. Oh, I forgot to take these. Let's take these out if I don't these with me. So I've got a, what do I need? An item duct possibly for that. Take some gunpowder with us just in case and the grappling hook and some string. Is that everything we need? I think so. Let's get out of here. Grappling hook. Fantastic. Now this thing, let's get it into my, I didn't expect that to happen actually too much with me, works. So we, it is where you put it down is basically it's a four by four. Well, it's a two by two cube really. Let's get on it. And when you put the last one down, if I can reach it, oh, I should be able to reach this from down below, shouldn't I? Like that. It then creates a docking station like this, and it's actually facing that direction, which is probably not ideal because it's going to dig up this. So we'll just remove this first of all. Okay, so what we then do is we put the asteroid miner in this. I think we can see ourselves with this as well. I've got it in my hand. No, nope. there we are. Oops, press F5 again. So that's the asteroid miner. Let's put that into the into here like this. And now it needs power. So we can do that. Should be able to do that easily enough. I'm not. I think these two green are input ports. So let's take the sterling generator like this. Oh, I haven't got the other one chest with me. So is that giving this power? It certainly is, fantastic. And it's also picked up six moon rocks. Now I don't know whether we can actually extract it out of here like this. Let's just try that as well. If I put this chest in here like that, does it take the items out of here? No, it hasn't. Okay, let's just uh, pick it up. Remembering to press shift on that, of course. Now I'm going to try um, an item conduit on here as well. <laughs> it doesn't attach that, so uh, I would. Oops, and there it goes. I can't follow it. It's obviously charged up, so it charged up fairly quickly, so that's good. So it goes down now and it goes and mines the nearest asteroids. So we don't have to do anything. I'm just seeing if I can actually get the bits out of it. I wonder if we can put this cable down anywhere else. Oh, maybe. Let's see if that works. So that's connected to that. Let's just right click this one and that'll send it the direction to activate this one. Always active. And let's see if this has got anything in it now. Ah, it worked. Fantastic. So it has actually done its job. It has mined this out and sent the stuff back to base. So that's where it's working now. So all we now need to do is to get the to finish this bit off here. Let's go and do that. Where is the hoop? There we go. I really should get make it a bit nicer to get in and out of here, shouldn't I? But uh, I haven't bothered. So we should have it yet. We've got one end of chest with orange in it. So we'll put that out of the way. Let's get. Uh, well, I'll put this out of the way at the moment. And let's get this out of here. If I can get to a good spot, probably over there. No mist. Try again. Right, there we are. Oh, look at this end of block. What's it going to do? Is it going to bash the... Oh, it did bash it. And it flew off. Ha! Well... You don't see that every day, but you do. I know you know, these things do tend to hurt. So what we're going to do is put the end of chest down here, and then tell this thing to pull from the left hand side. That's left drag and right click. And that should fill up. That's filled up. I don't want to need to protect it at all. It wouldn't be a bad thing to try, would it? 
Let's just do that. Put my pickaxe on. So I'm five by five, good. I'll just build a quick wall around this, just in case that anything does actually knock it off. I don't think it does. And you'll see the pickaxe was jumping then, and that's because of the, um, let's just do it like this. Because to be honest with you, we're never going to need to touch any of these things once it's done. Let's make it a second height, height like this. I will protect this one as well. Oops, can't reach. And I don't even think we need to go above that. So that it's obviously doesn't matter about the the asteroid miner itself because it just ignored that. <laughs> Right, that will do, I think, for a protection. I suspect we don't need it. Let me just double check we've got now. Press F4. Make sure that we've got no mob spotty bits around here. I'm sure we've got a few. Put one of these down here, look, because we want to launch on the asteroid miner itself. Which I didn't expect. And what happens with the asteroid miner once it gets full? It just comes, it goes back again. I wonder if you can actually reach this other world. I said something I haven't tried before. No, it's too far away. Even with power five. Oops, there's some dark bits over there as well. I need to light up those. So I guess anywhere you can reach It's funny seeing numbers on things which are floating around, isn't it? Let's just a quick can we reach this one? No, nope, too far away. If you want to go around these little ones, you'd have to go and get the other things. Just get my bow out here, look. Because I've I've also done something with my um get it twice, good. I've also done something with my sword. I've upgraded my sword. There's a head over there which I don't care about. But if I wanted to get to this one, yeah, I should be able to do that, shouldn't I? Let's get back quickly. If I can that is. I suppose I'm going to have to make a hole in here, aren't I? Yep. So you get out of that sensibly. I was just trying something out, see whether it actually works or not. Um, so I need to get out of here, let's just do that. Let's just press shift on this one. Dig my way out of it. We should be able to dig ourselves out of this without too much of a problem. Put down the torch, of course. I don't need to do. I don't need to do that. Do I do? I can just do three at a time. Huh. Need to just dig that one out of there. And then I should be able to jump, jump back again. Of course, I'm not in any danger. I was just a single block. Because I've got the warp scroll with me and the return scroll, so there's no big deal about anything at all, really. So that's that. Let's just make sure we've got everything lit up properly. I think that'll do. Now the warp scrolls return back again, so let's go back. Now.
And what we can do, of course, next is I press F4 to get rid of the marks, because we don't need that anymore. So look in here and have a look at what we've got for asteroid. Oops, can't type. So we've got 24 and 82 of different types of asteroid rocks. Let's remove those out of this chest here. And then we can see when it actually get, comes back again. Where I'm going to put these bits and pieces for the time being. No, I can't put them in there. Let's put them in here. It's probably got enough space in there, haven't I? We actually could check the uses of this. Just to make some cobblestone, give it some flim flam, which is. So, asteroid rock really doesn't have much use. Except for to make cobblestone. That's a bit useless. Now, this one we can. Oh, that's quite useful. We can. On the assembly table, we can make Elorium with 16 asteroid rocks of this type. Okay. Well, that's obviously going to be important. Because otherwise the recipe wouldn't exist. And then with some blue cyanite, cyanite, and some asteroid rock, we can make some more eulorium. That's the the basic the recycling, wasn't it, of the eulorium stuff. So that type of rock's good, and the other type of it isn't. So, so that's six four six colon one. This will be six four six. Okay, good. When when it comes back again, we'll have some more. And I've got no idea when it's going to come back again. Hmm. Well, that's uh, that done, I think. Now, next time... Oh, let's see, get our Yuya matter going. I should have done this at the beginning of the episode, shouldn't I? We haven't got... And if I look now, I've got one million scrap. So with one million scrap, I should at least get enough... You, you matter to finish that quest off. So let's go and do that because this is. I've just been building it up and I've been storing it in some uh, caches over there. So where's it gone to? Matter fabricator's actually over here, isn't it? Yep. So we just put the scrap in there like that. Some scrap in here like this, and hopefully we'll get very quickly. Is that going down or coming up again? So look. Now we got maxed, so we can't do better than that. One percent minus one percent, good. So we'll let it get on with that job. And and the next episode we'll come back and check how far we've got with this UU matter. Hopefully this we're getting it enough. Strange how those numbers are jumping up and down. I know we need tons and tons, but I've just got no idea how much we need. You'll see in here I've got, I think, this is one. Yeah, this is one scrap. That's full with cash with a storage bus interface on, so that'll get emptied out. And there's some crafting going on that, automatic crafting. So we should actually have two more steel holes, by the way. What's happened to those? Did they not come into the system here? Oh, maybe you haven't got... Yes, I haven't got it set up on here. So we should have some more steel holes on the system. What I'm trying to get done is that air fuel mix, mixer, of course, for the... Um, there's two for that other quest. Let's have a look for steel. We've got one on there. We should have two. So where's the other one gone to? It would have gone into this one. It shouldn't have gone anywhere else. And this one would have gone into this interface. Unless it's gone into here. Aha. Ah. I've done that before, haven't I? Let's put those into here. In fact, that's actually full now. And that'll be making these, which is not what I wanted to do, to be honest with you. What we do need in here, of course, is the other bits and pieces that we need to make the uh, steel holes. 
and the other bits and pieces to make the steel hulls well some more machine parts which I've got in here so let's go and put those into this system over here let's take those out of that what else do we need? we needed those I've got some more advanced alloys coal chunks do you not think that's actually all we need for those let's get them out again so it's one of those or half of those half of those half of those actually I've got that already don't need to do that 32 of those 32 of those and one of those should make another steel let's put it in here just to be absolutely sure what am I missing those and there's one more thing there's seven items in this one circuits so look a recipe ah oh, yes of course dash blocks of dash and I've not got an export because well, I have got an export for blocks of dash on there maybe it's not maybe it's busy let's have a look at the thing I don't think that's crafting, otherwise we'd see those, so let's cancel that. Snow. Blocks of dash don't seem to be working actually, let's have a look dash. We need 32 of those, so it'll take 64. I'll still have plenty. Let's put those into there as well. And sure enough that's working good let's put that in there that's our tenth let's put those in there that should be that one and the rest of these will actually start to fill up again over time as things get as it gets made they should automatically be made because that's actually turned off and they should all be in here you see I've got two types of empty cells I've got industrial and those and I think that's the seven items. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus the yeah, plus the faceplate, which I don't actually can't make. I do that manually. Now I'm rabbiting on a bit, and I don't mean to. So anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Quite exciting going to the asteroids, but not so exciting as it used to be. So until next time, I'll say bye for now.